BTG kids. Today I'm here with my brother Andrew. He's pretty great. Today we're actually going to be talking about something pretty serious. We're going to be talking about lying. Now it says in the Bible, do not lie, which kind of seems like an easy commandment at first, but when you think about it, it's kind of hard because sometimes lying feels like the easy thing to do. Now, if Andrew came home from school one day, and I'm just making this up, this didn't actually happen. But if he came home from school one day and he had tons of homework, but he, what he really wanted to do was play video games. And our mom and dad asked, Andrew, do you have any homework that you need to get done? And if he was like, no, I don't have any homework that I need to get done. That would be a big lie. And it might seem like a little lie because he just wants to play some video games. But what lies do is they put us in a trap. So we're going to use this string, for example. Pretend this string is like Andrew telling a lie. So oh, if Andrew tells a lie, it's like getting entrapped in this string. And if he tells one and then he realizes, oh man, I totally messed up and I definitely need to go apologize and ask for forgiveness from my parents and from God right away, then it wouldn't be too hard to get out of it, right? So if Andrew, like, just like that, you just have to apologize and say, I'm so sorry. I'm never going to do that again. I need to do my homework. I know it's important. But... The dangerous things about lies is sometimes one lie can lead to another one. So if Andrew said, oh, I don't have any homework, and then he plays video games, and then the next day he goes to school and his teacher's like, oh, Andrew, did you get that homework done? And he was like, yeah, I did my homework, and oh no, my dog Hobbs ate it, so I wasn't able to bring it today, and um, my dog Hobbs then um, threw it out the window because he has that ability and then that day he comes home and he says I don't have any homework again and then he goes back to school and says Hobbs um, ate my homework again and then he just keeps getting entangled in more and more lies and then suddenly it gets a lot harder to apologize and just get out of it because not only has he lied to his parents and well he probably lied to Hobbs and also to his teacher and probably his friends at school because they're wondering why he's playing video games all the time and still getting his homework done then suddenly it's a lot harder to apologize and get out of those lies. So it's like that. Like he's stuck in that string and he can no longer get out. And it kind of hurts to try to get out of him, doesn't it? Uh -huh. Yeah. It kind of cuts into your skin a little bit. So now we're going to turn to the Bible and read about someone else who got stuck in a lie. So, in the Bible, there's someone named Ananias and his wife, Sapphira. And they went and sold a big piece of their land and made quite a bit of money off of it. Now, they went to Peter, one of Jesus' disciples, and told them that they were giving all the money that they had made off of their land to give to the church. Which sounded really nice, except they were telling a big lie. They were keeping some of that money for themselves. Which wasn't a bad thing, but they lied about it, which was a very bad thing. Because they weren't only lying to the church, they were also lying to God. And God takes lies very seriously. So God struck them down dead right there. Which seems really scary, but like I said, God takes lies very seriously. Now, lying about your homework may not seem like a big deal, but God takes lying very, very seriously. So it's important to remember that you need to apologize and ask for forgiveness right away from God and from the people that you lied to. And you know what? God loves you so much and he is always willing to forgive you, always. So you can always come to him when you've made a mistake, when you've lied and apologized to him. 
Thanks, Andrew, for joining me in this lesson. It was so helpful. Mm -hmm. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Um, oh.